All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a new tool that I've created for performing DNS cache snooping. So the basic principle behind this is that there is a recursion desired bit in the DNS header. Now, in most DNS queries, this bit is going to be enabled. And when that's the case, if a DNS server doesn't know the corresponding IP address for a query domain name, it will recurse up the DNS hierarchy in order to get an authoritative answer for that domain name. However, if you supply a zero value for that recursion desired bit, then it will only attempt to resolve with what's currently cached in that DNS server repository. So by using a series of requests with the a zero value in that recursion desired bit, we can actually map out all of the cached domain names for a DNS server. So this can be useful for eavesdropping or profiling on an internal network's DNS server as to what the personnel that are accessing that server are accessing on the internet. So to demonstrate how this works, We'll do a real quick example with dig, and we'll use Google's 8.8.8.8 .8 DNS server, and we'll start with a likely cached domain of apple.com, and then we'll use the no recurse option, which will provide a zero value for that recursion desired bit. So then we'll provide that request, and here we can see that that domain is cached in the DNS server. So then if we use a less common domain name that's less likely to be cached in there, such as my domain, shortbus.ninja, and still using the no recurse option, here we can see that zero answer is provided on that one. That's because my domain is not cached in that DNS server. Uh, to prove this, we can remove the new recurse option and see that with recursion allowed, it will escalate the request up the DNS hierarchy and provide me an answer of the IP address associated with my domain name. So, now that we've demonstrated why this works, we'll go ahead and go to my new tool named Snoop which essentially just uses Scapy to do the exact same thing. It'll provide a series of requests for all domains within a domain list and then use that recursion desired bit set to zero. So we'll copy that and then get clone it. And then change directory into it and if we execute it we'll see that it'll tell us the usage and to use this we need to supply the domain server that we want to perform the cache snooping on and then a domain list so you can use any customized domain list you'd like um, in the repo I did include a sample domain list which has 331 um, common domains that can be used for this purpose. So to demonstrate how this tool works, we'll go ahead and run the tool with, once again, our 8.8.8.8 .8 DNS server, and then supply it the domain list. And it will immediately start performing queries and resolving any domains that it can using that DNS server. So we now know that each of these domains are cached within that DNS server.